Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 13th of September 2016. So, uh, apologies first, yesterday I left on this 20 bar moving average on the chart and forgot to mention it. I obviously got too used to it being there. So, let me explain how uh, this can be used in order to stay in trades uh, for the longer term. If we go back to Friday first, we've got uh, a sell signal. Well, first of all, we've got the 20 bar average and to apply this to the chart, let me just show you how to do this. You go to settings and you've got moving average. And I've got 20 bar average there. I've got green as the buy color and the short color red, so long and short. So when the market's going, it'll be green. When it's uh, going down, it will be red. And then you have to click apply if you want this on the chart and you would also have to click file and save it. But like I say, this is experimentation at the moment. And uh, like I say, I just uh, forgot to remove it from the chart yesterday. But you can see how Friday, when the market went short, and then went short again, the 20 bar moving average was above. Here we get the dead cat bounce as the market then hits the 20 bar average and then keeps bouncing off this all the way through, and then comes back here at uh, the close. And then price is moving lower again. Now during yesterday's session, we had the opposite and you can see here where the market, the moving average was green, the market put in a sell signal, this failed as the market came back and drove higher. You see here we come back to the 18,100 level, market moves higher but then we get a sell, comes back to the 20 bar average, fails to go below it as it did here earlier and then the market moves higher again. Uh, you can see here the market coming back to the 20 bar average is closed below twice, bit of red there, then reverses and goes back. And then we see the market uh, putting the buy signal with the moving average below in green, and then the market going up and making the 20 points there as well. So it is useful, I mean, you can see on the overnight, but what happens, of course, when the market goes sideways, it's neither use nor ornament. But what it's good for is when the session's got volatility in it, and most of the traders are at their posts, then you can see it's a very good tool indeed, especially in situations like this where the market comes back. It uh, actually closes back above, uh, as another look at it, it closes back above and then you see the market move higher. Now why did the market go up yesterday? Well the answer to that is quite simple. The stock saw most in tw uh, two months uh, after Brainard warns not compelling to raise rates. Now Brainard is one of the board members, he was speaking yesterday at uh, 6 p.m. but uh, obviously something got out beforehand and the market then just uh, took off and we saw the buy side there moving markets to the upside. If we look at the daily chart you can see this big reversal of uh, at least 76% of the previous uh, day's range which is of course Friday's and now we've seen the market uh, put in the buy there you can see huge amounts there to drive this uh, market back up but of course it's already run out of steam because it was an economic news item that uh, moved the market does it mean it can go higher of course it does because as i keep saying they don't want this market to go down they'll do everything in their power to fight this and keep the market uh, moving to the up and if you don't think that's the case again let me just show you another article here trump slams feds false stock market says yellen should be ashamed and i couldn't agree more not a Trump fan, but I agree with the article and his sentiments. He's the only one who's actually uh, said it. Uh, and that is that uh, the Federal Reserve are keeping uh, the market higher for the election. And if we come down to uh, to here, I uh, suggest you actually read this. And I'll put the link in the uh, email this morning. And it says here, even the New York Times admit that Trump is right, but suggests that the politically correct and economically most effective policy has uh, been not to admit it publicly, i.e. Yellen having meetings as she did in April with uh, Obama uh, under one of the rules and statutes that the Fed has. She can have a private meeting and not disclose what the meeting was about. And uh, also uh, this uh, note here, in 1965, President Lyndon B. Johnson, who wanted to uh, wanted cheap credit to finance the Vietnam War and his great society, summoned Fed Chairman William McKen uh, McKenzie and Martin to his Texas ranch and there, after asking other officials to leave the room, Johnson reported he shoved Martin against the wall 
as he demanding that the Fed once again hold down interest rates. Martin caved and the Fed printed money and inflation kept climbing until the early 1980s. Now, of course, I'm not suggesting here that uh, Obama's done the same with Yellen. Uh, that would be ludicrous. But uh, there's nothing to have uh, had a polite word, as it were, in the boardroom about uh, it would be nice if I could leave on a high note, and that means the stock market uh, remaining intact. I'm not saying this is any sort of conspiracy theory, but it's happened in the past. So why wouldn't it happen now, especially as we live in peak corruption? And also interesting to see the market do that straight reversal yesterday too. Minor uh, board members come out and say something and the market uh, goes up. News-wise today, I don't think we've got, we've got a Fed-free week, I think, uh, after yesterday. And uh, this seems to be the case. There's no news other than Draghi speaking later on today at 10 a.m. So the market will have factored this in by the time the Dow opens at 2.30. Thursdays can be quiet. Sorry, Thursdays. Tuesdays uh, can be quiet, as I keep uh, saying most Tuesdays, as the market digests everything from Monday. Tuesday seems to be a consolidation day, so just be warned on that one. And then finally, the implied volatility, 12.23 down yesterday from the 14 plus that we had, and you can see that in the chart there. Right, that's it uh, for today. I will see you in tomorrow's and reporting if necessary. Other than that, have a good day. And as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.